Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Cotter and today we are doing a haul video. So a small disclaimer, I don't do this all the time. This is not an everyday occurrence though my husband may think otherwise. Um, I will not be doing hauls like every month um, but when I get the time I do like to get a few new art supplies and today's art supplies some of them are things I've wanted for a long time and haven't had the chance to give them a go but let's get started so my first haul was from a lovely shop on Etsy now I'm a follower of her this lady's Instagram this is the words and flowers so I saw a post and she was showing how she uses stencils and Sonia is her name and she runs the Instagram page called words and flowers it's an Australian store so I thought I had some credit saved on there and I would go and have a look at her store because I wanted to get those stencils so the first stencil which is what made me want to get them is the mermaid one which I thought would be fantastic for mermaid um, I thought this would be great in coloring books or my artwork or cards and for soft pastels and distress inks and it's just a lovely size as well so that was the mermaid tail one and then I got this really pretty flower one and I really love this I thought this would be fantastic with watercolors I've seen people who do the watercolor color and then use a brush to actually remove color and I thought this would be fantastic doing that give it a try and then just before when I was taking it out I realized she'd given me a free stencil so this is really cool so both of these stencils all three of them will be fantastic for coloring books and backgrounds and things so that's fantastic so I thought I had to buy some more things so I've never tried the Pentel pens anymore these are um, the pastel tone ones and these are hybrid brand with the rollers and they just looked really pretty and there's seven colors there and I can't wait to get started I thought I could do these with my journal and so I'll give them a try later and then last of all I bought some stickers um, I've looked through these just before but they're all flowers with birds and let's see if close they're really pretty I thought that'd be fantastic my journal or diary um, if I take one out I don't want to tear the holder because it's such a lovely holder but as you can see whoops there really pretty and I've just gotten into stickers and she gave me some freebie stickers as well which is lovely and look at this she actually sent me a letter but as well as a personalized envelope like that shows you the care and all this was wrapped in purple tissue paper with beautiful washi tape so that is from words and flowers an australian store on etsy and she does have a website at www.wordsandflowers.com.au so i will put a link in the description below so you can go and take a look she has a lot of different stencils and scrapbooking things and bookmarks so that's lovely so I'll just put this away now my next one I'm going to pause the video to get this stuff out because I don't want to make big rattling sounds so I'll be back in two seconds so I'm back so I went to Eccles art store a couple of days ago with my son um, I don't get to go out to Adelaide very often I have seven children and my eldest son is 26 and he's moved out of home. So we spent the day together and I couldn't help. It's an art store, I had to go in. And I do use them quite a bit for my art supplies. And so I went in and 
I decided that's it. I want to try the soft pastels as I have never tried them before. I think it was Colouring with K or Lucy just adds colour. It could be. Oh, there's so many of them. And I've seen them use soft pastels for backgrounds and I thought that would be really lovely for my art. And I've seen people do actually drawings with them. And I've got pastel paper, so I thought I'd give them a go. And they didn't have much of a range of colours. She said she was ordering more in. Um, but she gave me some free sponges and tools. Because I nearly fell off my bucket at how expensive the tools were for them. But I'll definitely give them a go. And I got some blues to go with that as well. This is by Rembrandt brand. Um, these weren't cheap until I got to the tally and found out how much they were, but that's okay. But they're lovely blue pastel tones. They'll last me forever. <laughs> so I got those. And then I got, I'm collecting the Ardent Jurors by Fabric Castell. But the first thing I actually, I'll show you. I'll show you those after. So I'm collecting the Ardent Jurors by Fabric Castell. They're a watercolor pencil. I watched Shell's coloring and she uses them for majority of her coloring pages and said that these were softer than the Polychromos. Now I love the Polychromos and I'm the full set. I do own 60 of these, but I decided to start collecting the other colors as well so i got quite a bit here um i've tried to pick colors that i know that i will use in coloring books um and also for my artwork um i love the fabric still brand amazing brand and so i got these colors because i do a lot of skin tones on um, that's though i love doing flowers I love skin tones. So I've got all these. These are really lovely. So I got some reds and pinks and purples and as well as greens and browns. So that and blues. So that's what I got there. And these will last me quite a while. But I have found another place to get some more of these, but I won't be getting any until April probably. I'm happy with what I've got. So I went in as well. And the main reason for going in was to find the Prisma Lilacs as well as Lavenders. And I may have gone a bit overboard. <laughs> I went and picked all these out. These are the lavender. They had sold out of the lilac. And it was the funniest thing the lady said to me, you sure like your lavenders? And after I paid, I told her about them being discontinued due to not being able to get the pigment anymore. And so she rang up her supplier and found out that was true. And no, they can't get any lilacs in. So... I have a truck ton of lavenders. I guess I'm gonna have to really try and use them. <laughs> but at least I'll never run out of that color. And um, I use it a little bit. <laughs> so if you're looking for lavender, you know where to come <laughs> if you're in Australia. So I'll put these aside. I'll pause the video again so you're not listening to me rattling away, putting things away. So, yeah, that was at Clee's Art Store um, in Adelaide. That was really lovely there. And I also got a $25 gift voucher, so I'll be saving that for April when I go back. So, the next store I purchased from was Colt Pens. Now, I ordered from Colt Pens about a year and a half ago when they had the big sale and I had a recruiter friend voucher as well as Colt Pens had 10% off store wide for the winter sale 
and I got 10% off with another code and some of the items actually had 10% off as well. So I saved over 150 maybe from what I bought. So I was really pleased with that because I have had some things saved as a list that I've wanted for a long time from them and that I haven't been able to find in Australia. So the first thing I thought we'd look at is my Stablo. Now, Stablo, I have some brighter ones that I got given from Eccles Art Store, um, but I didn't have these more paler and natural tone sort of ones. So these here are the pastel tones. This is the fine 0.4 millimeter fine liners. And this one is sort of really natural colors. And that's again, the 0.4 millimeters um, soft colors it says. So I can't wait to give them a try. I thought they'd be good in my journal. And there's a couple of people that actually use these as bases. I think it's Coloring Kid who's tried these before. Um, I watched a video. So I can't wait to give these a go, especially in my journals. So I'll put these aside. And after winning my Secura prize and got the brush pens there, I decided to add a few colours. Um, the first one I got is the Sweets. That is uh, more pastel -y colours. Um, this is the brush pen by Secura Koi. Very pretty colours. There's like that green, the blue, purple, pink, that sort of apricot and a fleshy sort of tone. I thought I could do a lot with those colours, especially with the ones I already have that I won. And then I got the Botanical set, which is more green tones. And I just thought these were beautiful, especially if I want to base them in colouring books, sort of like I did with the Tombows, um, I'll give them a go. So they looked really good. So I can't wait to get started. And I like the actual brush nib on this. These, these are really nice. They're up there with the Tombows. And while I'm on that run, I decided to, I've been wanting to try the Ecoline Royal Talons brush pens for a long time. It was in between getting these or the actual watercolor pots. And I thought I'd probably use these more. Um, this is the pastel set, but it's only um, a small set. There's five of them there. And I haven't opened this yet. <laughs> so there's a green, if you can see there. Um, a blue, purple, pink, and that's either a grey or a blender. I'm not sure. I think it's a grey. So they look really interesting. And if they work really well, I'll definitely collect some more. But that's by Royal Talons Ecoline. Now, another product I got. Now, here in Australia, I have not seen these before. These are the Black Edition Neon and Pastel Tone. And these come as a 12 pack. I have the 50 pack of the Black Editions that I got last year. And these are the ones I wanted really were the pale ones. I will try the neons out, um, but I wanted those pale ones. So especially the pale blue, which was really lacking the pale colors in the original 50 set. And I can't afford the 100 set. That's like 150 Australian. I think it's from Brazil. But these are wonderful pencils. Um, I really love them. So that is the pastels and neon and pastels set. And then I got... Oh, sorry about that. So I got a Tombow water-based blender so this has your brush tip and then your bullet tip now i thought i could use these for the actual um my sakura pens i do have lots of tombos and um so i just thought better to have a refill than not have one and then i got the signo uni ball um metallics in the silver and copper um i i've actually got the gold i'm not keen on the gold too much but i thought i'd try the these two out 
I wanted to get the glitter one of the silver and I could not find it. So if you find that, let me know where you can find that from. Um, but I've got those two as well as the white. I will give the white a try again. My other ones just don't seem to like to work. I've got a couple there in my pencil thing that I've had for a year and a half. But I will give them a go again. Um, I pretty much use my jelly rolls, but it would be nice to have a few options. And then I got these huge, mega-sized Mono Tombow erasers. Now, I use these all the time now in my colouring books. Not this size. But I thought this these would last me ages. So I got these two because I've never seen them that big before. <laughs> so I'm definitely set for them. And I then got the Ecoline pipettes. These I use for watercolours. I get a little bit of water. And my other ones are really big. But these are really small, which I thought would be perfect for um coloring books and whatnot so that's by royal talons ecoline so those and then i got oh let's bring this over so i've wanted these for ages for two years i've wanted these especially for my journals these are the highlighters by stablo now over in australia i couldn't get this size and the four packs were really expensive, like $12 for four colours, but not none of these pale ones. So I went and looked for this set, even on Amazon, they were triple the price of Colt pens. This also had 10% off. So I got the fine one, as well as this big set of 23 colours. Now I and this comes with a stand for your desk. So I'm going to use these in my journals. I have seen someone on Instagram using these and, and blending with them with it in a colouring book. Um, but I had no luck when I tried. So, but these I use for my journal. So I'm really excited to try these. And they are the Stablo highlighters, the Boss Originals, and then the Swing Calls, which are, they're more pastely ones. I'm not sure if they show on the back here. Yep. That's how they look when the, you can sort of have it as a holder standing up. They reckon that they have a four hour anti-dry out if you leave the, the tops off, which I try not to. <laughs> um, but there's beautiful colors there. So I can't wait to get started with those. There's 18 in that one and there's 23 in the other one and because I bought them they gave me this as a free book now this I think goes for about six dollars this is the hand to brush lettering guide by Stablo um, so I'll do a quick look through um, it shows you what you can use and the different Stablo products um, some of them I've seen some of them I haven't and then it goes through just a guide on lettering, what's the best way to hold your pen, um, how to actually form the actual um, letters. And then, of course, the different ways of doing it. They call it, I think it's modern calligraphy. Um, there's many different words, but this is really interesting. It's got where you can practice. So that's really cool. So I'll definitely be using that. So I'll just put that aside. And I also got the Derwent Tone Tan Assortment Pad. Now this is a five sized. There's 20 sheets here. It's only 120 GSM. But I thought this would be great just to print out some colouring pages. Um, I love the Light Fast Paper by Derwent. So I thought I'd give this a go. And it's a really convenient size. I love my Tone Tan paper. And this is a lot darker than the actual Tone Tan by Strathmore. So I'll give it a go and let you know what I think. And so this is acid free. And it comes with a dark Tone Tan, a sort of a different Tone Tan. 
a greyish toe tan and a lighter grey. So that'll be interesting to give that a try. But that's A5 sized by Derwent. And the next product is by Derwent as well. And I've been waiting to get these for ages. I hummed and hard. I watched many reviews. And I thought, yes, I'm going to get them. I got some Christmas money. And this set only is really expensive here in Australia. But on Coke. Colt pens they had this for 10% off as well as well as my other savings so this is 24 um, set that's the biggest that comes they're highly light fast drawing pencils so these are more natural colors I haven't opened this up yet if you'd like to see me swatch these out do let me know um, in the comments below and I can do that but these look beautiful there's a lot of natural colors there not sure if you can see the color range there but if you'd like me to test these out on channel one day just let me know in the description below i'd be happy to do that but i love my derwent pencils i collect them as well gotta collect them all so that was everything from colt pens so then a couple of days ago, I did an order with Amazon <laughs> and it arrived in one day. I was really surprised. Especially yesterday being a public holiday, Australia Day. So um, I ordered, first off, these pastel tint pan pastels. Now, this I ordered these before I went to Adelaide. So, but oh well. These come in different colors than what I've actually got. So this comes in a Hansa yellow tint, permanent green tint, ultramarine blue tint, violet tint, and permanent red tint. Um, as I said, I've wanted to try these forever, but I kept putting it off. Um, it also comes with some little tools there. So I thought the little set I've now got and the other ones is a really nice starter set. I will be saving definitely for the skin tone bigger set. Because um, I might do some skin tones using them. But I'll let you know what I think of these. Because I'm so used to my soft pastels. But I've heard that these are less messy. So we'll see. And so that's that set that I got. As I said, this is the pastel heavy hole. Um, I wanted, I watched um, on one of the YouTubers and they had these pastel acrylic paint pens by Tuli Art. Um, I think it was Shell's Colouring and I think um, Lucy just adds colour. I think she may have had a set of these. I can't remember fully. I will put a link in the description below to both of their pages or their YouTube channels. So these are the 24 pastel sets. This is a fine tip. Um, I own all the Poscas and the first set of the Artex ones that they released and they were all darker colours. So I haven't, the Posca does have a pastel set but they're not as pastel as these. So this is the colour range. So they're similar to your pas Poscas. And I just thought these would be fantastic for my colouring books. And they're packed really nice. They had some glittery ones too, but I couldn't find them when I went back to look. They had skin tones and bigger sets, but this one's perfect for me. Um, I'll definitely be using these in colouring books because I use my paint pens quite a bit already. And then I ordered this little tiny, if you can see it, it's not much bigger than my hand, um, pencil case. So I got this to actually put my jelly rolls in. And I thought, oh no, it's not going to fit. But yep, they are. Um, but it's only tiny, so it's going to fit on my desk really well. I own most of the Secura jelly roll sets. And I just thought I'd like to put them in an actual pencil case to keep them protected. Because I have a two-year-old who loves to play with my pens. And I've lost quite a few because of my little darling. <laughs> so having everything in a pencil case means they're all protected. 
I have to have everything locked away or up high. So this has those sort of prongs as you can see if I show you. Um, these should fit in. You can put pencils in these. But this would actually be a fantastic size for a holiday or your handbag. I think it only holds 66. So um, they had pink, yellow, black, but I like the aqua blue. So that's that one. I collect. I haven't got any more this size. So this is a fantastic size. I'll definitely get some more of them. And then... I got also from Amazon, just moving some things. So I use the Strathmore Tone Tan Paper and I'm nearly out of my mixed media paper now. I do have some Fabriano and a couple of other brands of the mixed media, but I wanted the Tone Tan because I'm down to about five sheets left. Um, I use it for drawing and artwork and I thought, I would give this a go with wet media not overly wet but um so this is really thick paper it's the mixed media by strathmore and i've printed on this before and on my printer um it prints out fine but as you can see it's really thick and that tone tan so as you can see the difference of that to the actual tone tan paper by derwent so i'm now set for this this will last another couple of years but I got these on special, they had a um, coupon. So I got these a lot cheaper than I would have elsewhere. And this one that came worse to wear, which I'm not impressed, Amazon, <laughs> with sheets out of it. It was just chucked in there. But as you can see how big that is. Um, so that's the big one, which I've done a few art pieces now on the big ones. So that was from Amazon. Now, before I get to a couple of colouring books, I'll show you what I got from Dezo when I was in Adelaide. This was all under everything else so I could show you then. So I went to Dezo and I love Dezo. I was looking for a little journal that I'd gotten a couple of years ago, but they were resetting their shop up and they said, who stocks it now doesn't have it. So what they did have out, I couldn't get much. So but it's so cheap there. So I got this washi tape and it is super thin, all pastel colors. Um, I thought I could use this in my journal, but I love that colors. Another one I thought, well, there's pretty flowers could be used in my journal. Um, I thought they were really pretty, the flowers. And this one I didn't realise was Disney Princess, which will match in with my, I've got, this is my journal I fill out every month. And it's a Disney Princess one. I got this on clearance for $2 at Big W. And from Dezo a couple of years ago, they had these Disney Princess, I'm not sure if you can see that, yep, little tags. And so I fill this out every month and what pages I plan to do. So I'll use it in that, I think. But I've got to set up next month. So I use that. I'll definitely use that in there. But I didn't realise that was by Disney until I got home. And then I got these tags. And I thought these would be really good. These are, yeah, sticky notes. Because I could write what I used to remember. Because when you're trying to show pages... And you can't remember what pencil you use. And I do write down what I use a lot of the time. And then I got these other sticky notes. And I just love the colours. So that's my excuse. Now all of these were less than $3 something I think. Um, they're really cheap at Dezo. Especially for stationery. Fantastic. I love them. <laughs> I love that store. And so that was from Dezo. And then... I got a couple of colouring books. I don't really need a lot of colouring books. I've got tons already. But I ordered a couple of colouring books. So the first one, and I was really surprised at the size, is by Gundren Hall. Now, this is Fairylandia colouring book. It's a beautiful book. And I love the size of it. 
I won't go totally in. This, it wasn't until I'd actually read a bit and I'd already ordered it that I found out it was AI art. But to be honest, how beautiful this book is, I, I don't totally support AI art. I know that there's a court case at the moment in America to do with AI art. So for me, I, it does concern me, but I, I just, I really love this book. Like it's not, the images are just beautiful. And though I don't totally support what AI art is, I think this is a beautiful book. I won't totally flip through unless you want me to, but it's definitely a beautiful book. So that one, I love the kitchen. Like, look at that. I'd like to live in this fantasy world. Um, that one really captured me. I love that. I don't know what that is. I was looking at that. I'm thinking, what is that little thing? It's meant to be a bird or... I don't know what it is. <laughs> I believe there's two sizes for this book. But this is Fairlandia, colouring book by Gundren Hall. There's 40 scenes in this book. Um, this is an AI art. So Gundren Hall did not draw this. The computer did. She wrote the words in. But I still think it's fantastic um, colouring book there for me to try. Now the other two... I can't wait to get into. Now, I've never owned any of these mythographic books before. Um, I've got one just before Christmas. Let me see if I can find it. Let me pause the video a second. Yes, I did find it. So, okay. I was watching Colouring with Kay and she had the Enchanted Castles. And I can't remember what image it is. I think I know what one of it is. And I just, I love what she's done uh, on the page it's such a beautiful like oh my goodness I look at that and think oh where do I start <laughs> um but I've never owned any of these books before so um these are just stunning these are all by Fabiano Atanasio um I know that he does or she does I'm not sure um does the there's like an Alice in Wonderland and I can't remember the other books I don't own any of them I think I do have a coloring heaven maybe um I've never colored in that either but I got these I got the paradise one which I know is a fairly older one um as well as dream garden and enchanted castles I have pre-ordered a couple more um but I can't wait to give it a try of these. If you'd like me to do a flip through of any of these, do let me know. I know that these do have the hidden objects and I know the future ones do not. But it doesn't phase me. There's enough you can hide it. But these are just amazing. They remind me of Kirby Rosane's sort of style as well, which I love his work. But look at that. Like, where do you start? <laughs> Um, such beautiful images. There was a couple of images there and I'm thinking, oh, I can't wait to do that. Like, look how beautiful that is. So I can't wait to get started with them. And thank you, Colouring with Kay, for inspiring me to get more colouring books. <laughs> now, there is one item I forgot to show. And this one I have to thank for. Um, colouring Kid has a channel and she keeps her postcards and in one of these these are the atoya art portfolio albums and i thought i really want one of these and she'd actually sent me where you can get them in the uk and i searched in australia i searched the shop in the uk and sadly they'd actually ran out and I'm not sure if this is the size she uses. But for me, it doesn't bother me. So I'll just pause this for a minute and I'll show you what I'm going to use them for. So 
The Colouring Kid has her I Believe in Fairies by Clara Markovova in them. And I do believe she got the small set and put some other smaller ones in that one. But um, I thought I would actually get one to protect these because these cost the earth and they are such beautiful artwork and I'd hate to get them damaged. I love the holder here. So if there's a way for me to actually make it so the holder won't get damaged. I've only colored one thing in with this. This is actually um, pretty much, I've been pretty slack with that set, but as you can see, that's the actual image that came with the set and that will fit perfectly in there. Um, I think my Rita Berman postcards will be a bit, bit small. But that's the only one I've done when I first started colouring. <laughs> it's so washed out now. That was what done with Arteza coloured pencils, I think. I'm not sure if you can see that properly. Especially from the glare. But yes, thank you, Colouring Kit. I finally got it. I was so excited to get that one. So that was my haul for January. Now there is a few items and books that I've had on pre-order that have not arrived yet. So once they arrive, and which will be a haul for next month, I will definitely do a video then. Um, and But it isn't something I'm going to do all the time because unless it's a book I really want or art supplies I really have run out of or sent, um, it's, I don't need a lot of stuff. I've got so much. If I went through that, uh, we'd be there all day. I'd have to split that up into multiple videos. Um, I'm a bit of a hoarder with my art supplies, but I'll definitely um, do more in the future, probably in April. Um, I will have a haul one done in February. So definitely stay tuned for that because that's some different things that I have ordered. Um, that hasn't arrived and some books that I've pre-ordered that aren't released in Australia. They're released in other countries, but not in Australia, funny enough. So thank you so much for listening to my ramblings. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed my art haul. Do you use any of these products? And if you do, talk about it below. Um, press like and describe if you liked the video. And happy colouring. Thanks.